quick tabs are all the creation and tool tabs at the bottom of the Beyond window. You can select one at a time and it'll open up like this. You can also unduck some of these types of tabs to create a second window and redock them here. Further, you can select which tabs you want to have by right-clicking on any of the tabs and click Set up quick tools. Here you can enable or disable which tools you want. There are some tools that show up in this area that are exclusively used in Timeline. These are not covered in this video, but will be in our Timeline Quick Hints video. Under Quick Text, you can type in a phrase or name, select its color, give it a size, or even select some predefined effects to add to your text. Once you have what you'd like, you can click down and drag up to an empty Q cell in your workspace, or you can assign it to a zone and click Show It Now to preview it live. In Quick Shape, you can create simple beam effects, select line or points, choose a basic shape like a triangle, circle, or squares, choose its size, and how many points it has. From there, you can change its color and add any stock effects you would like. Similarly to Quick Text, you can click down and drag to an empty cell to save in your workspace, or zone, and show it now to preview. Under Quick Trace, you can open an image and the tool will automatically trace your image in laser. For better results, you can try changing how the tool traces the image and adjust the colors. On the right, similarly to before, you can click and drag it into your workspace to save, as well as zone and preview. Under Quick Targets, you can create sequences of your beam targets that are set up under Settings, Quick Target Beam Settings. Create steps, do timing, and save just like before. This is covered fully in our Beam Targets video. Quick Capture allows you to capture everything you are currently outputting, like multiple cues to multiple zones and even effects into one clip, which can be saved to a single cue to create a multi-trigger looks that you have created. You can preview and save just like all the ones before. Quick Effects is like a workspace for effects. You can use these empty cells to create your own effect and simply add them to any cue you are currently playing just by clicking them. On the right, you can even control how much the effect is active onto the cue in Fade In Effects or Fade Out Effects. You can decide if your effect is universal, cue-based, or zone-based, and choose if you want one per line, four per line, or do drops which enable effects on sequences of beats. This is one of the tabs you can undock into another window. Workspace is another instance of the same workspace you're using up above, but this allows you to have two views of it, giving you the ability to have twice as many cues available to you for playback. Many users like to use the top one for sets of cues like quick playback cues to follow medleys, while using the bottom workspace window for chorus, loops, or longer running cues. Similarly, you can have independent options for each cue selection, toggle, restart, flash, and flash solo. This tab can also be undocked to put into another window. Under audio, you can enable an audio input so you can create sound controlled effects or events inside of Beyond. Choose the device, start or stop, use it for beat detection, change how it releases, and add it or remove it again. You can also spread out the graphical EQ display here to see more and more channels of audio frequency. Note the values in the bottom do not correspond to actual audio hertz. Thank you for watching this Quick Hints video on the Quick Tools tab in Beyond and Quick Show. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact our support line by emailing support at pangolin.com. Thanks for watching.